these could be the solar cells of the future. The prototypes were developed by Andy and Toby Maya at their startup Solaronics. Their solar cells work according to the principle of photosynthesis, using a natural dye. That's why the cells can be transparent, red or blue. The brothers have been refining the production technique for 15 years now. The solar cells have to be durable. The cells we use here in the lab are built for performance, not durability, which places a different set of demands on them. Producing good, durable cells won't be easy. The inventor of this type of cell, Michael Gretzel, has been fascinated since his student days by the sun's potential for generating electricity. That's why I studied natural sciences. I wanted to better understand the natural processes of life, and maybe even to imitate them. That's the real question. How did nature come up with photosynthesis, this wonderful process that nourishes us all, that gives us life? Today, Michael Gretzel is professor of chemistry in Lausanne, where he developed the photosynthetic solar cells. Because they're produced without silicon, they cost only half as much to make as their silicon-based counterparts. The natural dye is the magic ingredient. It's obtained from fruit or berries, for example. The dye captures light and converts it to energy. A second glass plate is coated with tin oxide. That's topped with graphite and an iodine solution. Just like the chlorophyll in plants, the dye absorbs light to produce positive and negative charge carriers. And that generates an electrical current. The solar cells even work under low light conditions. You might think there's no energy in this room, but that's not true. Look here, you can see it. We're generating a few milliwatts. During the daytime, you might assume there is no light energy when you're in the shade. But that's not the case. The energy is in the room, and a system like this one can capture it. The Gretzel cells were invented 20 years ago. Now Solaronics is taking them on their next step, out of the lab and onto a building facade. It's their public debut, and making that work is going to be a real challenge. For Michael Gretzel, it's the moment he's long been waiting for. There are always times when everything looks grim, when progress stalls. But you can't let that sap your motivation and get you down. You have to let your passion for what you're doing drive you along and help you get past those difficult moments. But there's plenty of work to be done. Michael Gretzel is still looking for more ways to tap into the energy of the sun.